explain the different uh, uh, so-called specifications uh, in the lab system. Uh, a specification or a spec is essentially a group of tests uh, with certain values. In my previous video, I explained uh, what, a, what a test method is. Just to recap, a test method is a procedure that is used to, to describe how to test a certain property of a product. The property might be density, color, and so on. In this video, I'm going to focus on how you can build a spec or a, spec or a specification based on grouping a number of tests in a, in a, in a spec or in a spec set. So, to view the different specs, click on Transaction FRT Lab or Z Lab. Uh, as I explained before, the first button shows you all the different test methods, which we, which we have already covered that. In this video, I'm going to cover the Manage Specifications button. I'm going to click on this button right now. Here we can see uh, essentially all the different specs we have. Uh, the tabs filter the specs by type. In this particular setup, we have four types. We have customer specs, manufacturing specs, performance specs, and marketing specs. You can set up as many different types of specs as you need. Uh, based on your requirement. Uh, obviously, customer specs is essentially specs made for a particular customer. So now I'm going to show you how to create a, a, a spec for a product. Click on the button Create Spec. Okay. The first thing we have to do is pick the uh, spec type, and that's the first the first field. So I'm going to do the drop down on the spec type here, and this should be essentially our four types that we have seen before, which are customer specs, manufacturing specs, performance specs, or marketing specs. I'm going to in, in this case create a customer specific spec. Okay, so I'm going to pick zero one. Now you can uh, you can make this spec or this uh, group of uh, this spec you can you can link it to a particular product or you, you can link it to a group of products if you link it to a product it means that this particular spec only applies for this product if you if you link it at the group level it basically means that this spec up applies for all the for all the all the product in the in the group. In this example, I'm going to pick a group. So I'm going to pick the first. Do uh, go to the first uh, field and do the drop down. I'm going to pick a product called All Groups. I'm sorry, All Products. Then from from within that, I'm going to pick an hour group For example lubricants so now I'm, I'm basically saying I'm gonna create a spec that applies for all lubricants okay now I'm gonna pick my customer because this is a customer spec I'm gonna do the drop down here I'm just gonna pick anything from my drop down I am gonna pick uh, ABS oil company. Now you can put a plant, it's optional. If you put a plant, essentially you're saying that this spec only applies at this plant, but I'm going to leave it blank. You have to put a valid from valid to. So I'm going to make this valid from 1st of January 2014 until until 12 1 1 2 20 2020 okay now i'm essentially done with the header part of the of the setup now this spec is not complete 
they're actually assigning to it the different test methods that will essentially form this spec. So in order to add the new test method, you go down to the lower to the lower part of the screen here, and you can find the button which says add test add test. So I'm going to click on the button that says add tests. Okay. Now I'm going to pick one of my test methods. Let me do the drop down here. I'm going to pick, for example, the uh, uh, density. I'm going to say the maximum value, the minimum value, for example, is 990. Maximum value, 1000. Normal, 995. And I can put a, a comment. Then I can say unit is kilogram per meter cube. Okay. And I hit OK. So essentially what I have right now is a test, is a, is a spec. It's uh, specific to ABS oil company, valid from this date to, to this date. And it applies for all lubricants and this spec consists of one test one test method or one test procedure which is for density and this a procedure sh should have a, a minimum value of 990 maximum of 1000 normal of 995 I'm gonna hit save now As we can see now, the system has saved the test, uh, the specs, and uh, what, what to note here, it gave it a test set number. So this is the test set number, or the spec number, it's five, and as I said, it consists of one test method, which is D787. Now, you can add as many test methods as you want to the spec. So you can add another one, you can, for example, add a temperature test method, a color, and a and so on. But this is essentially how we can create a test method. If I go back right now, I'm going to see my test method in the grid. Now I am back in the uh, in, in the grid where I can see all the tests, all the all the specs. And I can just see the one I just did here. I'm going to highlight it. Uh, it's test set number five. And this is the customer. And this is when it was created today, the 12th of January. Now, I just showed you how to create a test method. But you can just as easily change, display, or copy a test me method. To change a test method, just to highlight the test method, I'm sorry, to change its spec, just highlight the, the spec set, in this case 5, and hit the button change spec. And now you can change anything you want. For example, you can change the valid from valid to, change the customer, product, the product group, assignment, and so on. Or you can say, well, I want to add a new, a new test method. I can hit the button add, and I'm going to add a new test method. For example, I'm going to add a temperature test method method I'm going to say the minimum value is is uh, nine minimum value is 90 uh, maximum value is 120 normal is 100 I can say units uh, units are your unit is Fahrenheit okay hit save and now, essentially, I've just added one more test method to this uh, spec. So it's now, spec number five consists of two tests, or two test method procedures, D787 and 002T.